224 Bravo San Luis Tower, runway 200, cleared for takeoff, left down departure, parade traffic, two mile final, Cherokee, wind calm. Today we head into one of the most scenic approaches of any airport and visit San Luis County Regional Airport. Funny enough, my first time here, I missed out on seeing this approach since I was doing my IFR training. And this was for my cross country and we were doing the practice RNAV approach. So I was just under the foggles and no, this footage was not that time. This was our second time here. I actually got to see the approach this time. San Luis Obispo is towered and has two runways, 1129 at 6,101 by 150 feet and 0725 at 2,500 by 100 feet. Now there has been talks to close 0725 in the future for underutilization as the given reason, but nothing has been decided just yet. The weather is pretty tempered except for the marine layer that comes in since it's pretty close to the coast, but it usually burns off by afternoon. I'm going to spare you guys the horrible, horrible readback I did. Straight ahead is technically the transient parking. The problem is that it is short term, as shown on the airport diagram. You get a maximum of two hours and the restaurant, the Spirit of San Luis, is just a few feet away. We haven't eaten there yet, mostly because we always park at the FBO and take the crew car into town. But if you've been there, we'd love to hear your experience. Now this airport didn't start because of World War II, but it was taken over during the war. And right after, in 1946, it was returned back to the county. Today, not only does it have general aviation aircraft, but also commercial air travel from Alaska, American, and United Airlines. Which you'll see makes parking at the FBO pretty spectacular. This airport was the first time we got to experience a fancy FBO like ACI Jets. Recently, we found out that there are many student pilots that after they get their PPO are nervous about visiting these FBOs. Seriously, there's nothing to be nervous about. Just call ahead and they'll know to expect you and they'll have a lineman waiting to help you in. Easy peasy. And the fact that you share the same apron as the fancy Jets, you'll feel extra fancy yourself. As I mentioned before, if you stay at ACI Jets, they do have crew cars for a maximum of two hours, but they also have rentals and even electric bikes if you're staying local. We've parked at ACI Jets the two times we've been here and it's been a great experience and the fuel prices aren't cheap for full service, but it's not crazy either. We'll give you a quick breakdown in the description below. Now we usually do a whole checklist, but we're going to change that and instead give a quick summary of everything we just learned. We felt like that would be more helpful for you guys. And honestly, you guys are grown. If you guys like the video, you guys know to like. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, you guys know to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or feedback, you guys know, leave a comment like many of you guys have. But from now on, instead, we're going to do a quick wrap up. So in summary, there is transient parking, but only for two hours. Otherwise, you must stay at the FBO. Two hour transient is located next to the restaurant. Transportation at the FBO includes a rental or a crew car if available, and they have electric bikes. And finally, it's a pretty sweet approach. San Luis Obispo is one of our favorite airports because honestly, what's there not to like? Oh, and here is why it's so cool to park at ACI Jets.
It's hard to see here, but while my wife was filming, putting in the work, I was on the other side waving to the pilots like a nine-year-old. And when they waved back, I'm pretty sure I looked like an excited little kid. So even the departure is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. New airport.